Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the How to Become a Goal Slayer in 2024 workshop. This is going to be really powerful because it's not just about setting goals and like, yeah, we set our goals and made them specific and smart and fucking attainable, whatever that smart acronym is. But it's actually about tapping into when you're doing the goal and when your mind tries to stop you, what you get to do and how you get to overcome the roadblocks that might come up. So we're going to plan for success in a way that I haven't seen done before, actually. And so I'm really excited to share this with you. So I'm happy you're here. So I want you to introduce yourself in the chat. Please put where you're from, your name, why you showed up today. I'd love to hear from all of you. And hello, who just joined. Welcome, Joanna. Welcome to the workshop. And if you're watching the replay and you are not live, please go move your body. Whoever's watching the replay, go move your body. Go do a little dance. We do this for a reason. There's a really powerful reason we move our body before we sit down to learn. Um, and while you're typing in, talking about yourself, where you're from, why you're here today, I will share. Because when we move our bodies, our body and our brain create something. It's called BDNF, but it's a fancy way of saying it's the chemical that helps our brain make better connections, helps our brain form different things, operate at a better way, right? So basically, you're giving your brain a little bit of juice when you're going to sit down and work on something. So that's why I really think movement breaks are super powerful, especially as entrepreneurs and people that use their brain a lot. And we're always, you know, in our higher functioning we want to move and optimize our brains. That's why we move before we sit down to learn something. And that's why I dance literally all the time. Amazing community and to learn. Yes, I met Divinity in Nicaragua when I was traveling in Central America. Divinity is such a beautiful human. Welcome, Leah. Is CA California here to learn? Lena, yeah, girl. Happy you're here, Lena. Yes, we got big goals 2024. Me too. So yeah, Lena and I talk all the time because we're friends in Vancouver. And uh, it's so good to see, have someone to level up with. And I really encourage you to connect with people here. And if you want to drop your IG too, or we can even just like create something, but like to really keep us accountable to our goals, connect with someone who's also like on the, the same wavelength. Yeah. I'm not, yes, Nat. I'm in the, I'm in the container with Nat and we are, you know, have, we have the same biz mentor. Um, Yes, Miami. No way, Nat. Okay, when I come to Miami to dance my booty off, we have to connect. I'm going to Miami in September. I'm here because I have big goals. Yes, strategically. Mm, this is such a good point because you can have all the strategy, but if you don't have the energy and you don't have your subconscious mind on the same page, it's going to be more of a push rather than a pull. And you're going to see more kind of roadblocks come up because you haven't done the inner work and that's so powerful so I'm happy so happy you're here Kelsey yay I'm so happy to have you here super pumped and you are a new business owner and we're gonna absolutely slay okay thanks everyone for dropping in the chat if you're watching the replay I don't know connect with me dm me <laughs> beautiful so you're here today because you want to slay your goals yeah this year, and we're here to learn more about your mind and how you can stop yourself from self-sabotaging. Drop a yes in the chat. That's why you're here today and you're ready to learn all the juicy stuff so you can absolutely slay, like slay, like beyond slays, okay? <laughs> Amazing, good, okay. Yes, 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 yes. So if sometimes you ever felt like you're frustrated and like there's something wrong with you, like you can't figure it out, you're like, why isn't this working? Hey, when you're late, sometimes you're like, I'm doing the things, right? I'm showing up doing the things. I'm trying. Like, why is this working? Is there something wrong with me? Like, what am I missing? Yeah. Anyone ever felt like that in their life? Yep. If you know what you need to be doing, but sometimes you just can't get yourself to do it. Like, maybe you're like, oh, I know I need to like stop scrolling so much. Or like, I know I need to stop comparing myself. Like, I know I need to maybe eat more vegetables, but like, Oh, I just can't sometimes like there's these blocks that come up and your brain just makes you do other things. If this is experience, if you experience this, don't, don't worry. It's normal. I'm here. I got you. And maybe you often look at others and you're wondering like, how the fuck are they able to do that? How the heck are they able to make those big months? Or maybe it's like show up so consistently, be more confident or how are they doing the thing? Like, I want to do that too. I can't figure this out, man. Like if you ever felt like that, I am here. We got you. Okay. And maybe sometimes you're like, I feel so behind, like, oh my God, I need to catch up. 
like, oh, I thought I'd be further than I was. Like, why am I not doing more than I thought I would be doing? Like, you know, you had this expectation of where you thought you would be, but like, you feel like you're quote unquote behind. Yeah. These are things that I feel and have felt in my life. And if you're here, know that you are exactly in the right place and you're here for a beautiful reason. And I really believe everything happens on divine timing, not our timing, but on divine timing. So welcome, Joanna. Oh, Vancouver. Yay. Wait. Joanna, what's your last name? <laughs> I was happy you're in Vancouver as well. Yes, next steps. I'm so excited to hear about um, what you're working on. Super pumped. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So if you've ever felt like any of these, know that you are not alone. You are in the right place. Everything's happening exactly as you need. And I know you have big dreams and you are going to achieve them because in some way, in some level, it's already done. So like all the things that you've been overcoming over the past few years towards your dreams, it's all happening for you, yeah? And know that it's going to happen. You will achieve them. And what we're going to learn in this workshop today is going to help you achieve them in a more aligned and help you maybe accelerate the process a little bit because you'll be able to take that action and not procrastinate and self-sabotage yourself. So my intention today is to share what I know about goal setting and the nervous system and your subconscious mind and provide you with the practical tools so you can slay. So it's not just the workshop where you're like, oh yeah, my goal is to hit 10K months, woo. And you're like, okay, but it's the practical tips. You're gonna be able to be like, hey, okay, this is what I'm doing every single day or twice a week. And this is what I'm gonna do and tell myself and embody and ingrain in my mind every day so I can show up and not have my nervous system freak out when I'm doing the action. Does that make sense? Yes, that's my intention today. And all I ask for you today from you is to be fully present. So if you have your phones on, please put them on, do not disturb. If you have any distractions, get rid of them because this workshop, if you let it, will change your life and how you show up moving forward from today. I ask that you engage with me. It's gonna be a very engaging workshop. We're gonna be workshopping all your goals. And so I'm actually not gonna have the slides after I finish this little spiel. It's going to be engaging, workshopping back and forth. Please ask questions. Please get clarity. Like I'm here for the next, you know, almost 90 minutes to support you, to help you, to be here, to give you everything you need to be successful. And please be open-minded, right? Some of you are like, oh yeah, like I've done goal setting before. And like, yeah, I've heard about this, but this is different, right? So I want you to be really open-minded and be open to hearing something, maybe a different way, or maybe something's gonna land differently for you today. Or maybe it's gonna click. You're gonna be like, oh shit, like I realized that, right? And also I say that I want you to be in your empowered self. And I say this because we're gonna dive a little deeper than maybe you're used to. And I might say things that might little, you know, push your edge. Maybe you're gonna feel uncomfortable. Maybe you're gonna be triggered because we're gonna have to really look at things that you have been doing that aren't serving you and maybe get a little real with yourself. So know that when I say certain things or when you feel a certain feeling that I'm talking to your empowered self, not your triggered self, not your, you know, scarcity self. Yeah. So I ask that everyone as we can, of course, we're human, but being your empowered self, know that, okay, this version of me would do this and respond to this differently. And I'm not going to be in my triggered self. Does that make sense? Everyone put a yes in the chat. If these, all these things are okay with you. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Sam. Nice to have you here. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. And for those of you that don't know me, hi, I'm Pearl. It's your girl, Pearl. I'm an ex dietitian, used to work in a hospital. I went to school for dietetics to learn about the human body and nutrition. I decided I hated the job and the system and the healthcare system. It's not the vibe. Turned BioRaver. I'm launching a business called BioRave, which is about combining health optimization with raving, with partying to create a more better and healthier way to party. But not only that, to create people that are so secure in themselves and energized and you know, have less anxiety and able to show up as our fully authentic self. So when you're out in the world, maybe you're dancing or you're in your business, you are your full self and you get to be that version of you and it gets to be a fun time. So I'm on a mission to help people dance more. Of course, the dance is my life, to feel your best through building healthy habits and to create a life that you don't want to escape from so you can feel so good every day you wake up and you love your life. That's my mission and that's why we're here to talk about how to make goals and set them and take action on them so you can create a life that you don't want to escape from. So you can feel your best, right? So you can tap into who you're meant to be. 
And fun fact, I'm obsessed with peanut butter. Your girl, I eat peanut butter out of the jar by the spoon every single day. It's like a ritual. Anyone else is obsessed with peanut butter? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just like, I have this weird thing. Lena's like, no. Yes, Leah. And I actually, I went on a, I had a little coffee date with someone in Vancouver, just like a, a business date. And I bought a favorite food. Me too, Leah. Oh my God. And I bought a peanut butter cookie. And I was like, yeah, peanut butter cookie. And she was like, what's that? I'm like, oh, peanut butter cookie. Do you want some? She's like, uh, I'll try it, but I don't really love peanut butter. So she tries it. And I'm like, do you like it? She's like, no. I'm like, I was so upset. I'm like, we can't be friends. No, I'm kidding. But she like took a bite and was like, this is too peanut buttery. I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> peanut butter is a gem. Um, if you don't mind muting yourself, Sam, please. Okie dokie. Are you ready to slay? Put the word slay in the chat. You're ready to slay. And we're going to dive right in. It's going to be super interactive. And I'm going to take away the slides. And we're going to fucking slay. Slay, slay, slay all day. So this is what we're going to do. This is our plan for today. We're going to get really clear on our goals and make sure they're in soul alignment with our goals and intention. I'm going to explain why that's important. And then we're going to reverse engineer these goals and intentions so you can practically see how they fit in your life and how you're going to make it happen. And then we're going to address potential blocks that might come up. And we're going to do an exercise that's going to help you really tap into that. And then using what blocks might come up, what mindsets come up, what feelings come up in your body, then we're going to create the daily tools to implement, to support your nervous system and your subconscious mind in the moments when you need. Okay. Does that sound good? Thumbs up. Everyone sounds good. Yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. So that's the plan for today. So that being said, I want everyone to drop in the chat. And I said this on the email, but if you didn't read the email, it's okay. Your number one goal and your number one intention for this year. Drop in the chat. And there, there are going to be some moments that we're going to do some like interactive. You can come off the chat and like come off mute and talk. We're just going to go through this first. Mm, Lena, great. So number one goal is to 10K months in business. I love that. Number two is to move with more self-trust. Okay, beautiful. I want to see everyone intention. Oh, good. I got I got what you meant. So I'll see, make an impact by supporting people, make back what I invested into my biz. What's your intention, Kelsey? Leah, to build your biz, gain clients, to build a social media following. Leah, is in that second one, your intention? Sam, establish a media company with software clients, accomplish my fourth world tour. Fourth? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Celebrating you, Sam. It's amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, for those who are still typing, that's okay. I want all of you to make these a little bit more specific, all right? So make an impact, Kelsey, make an impact by supporting people. Make back whatever you invested. Be specific, because our brain likes specificity. So what does make an impact mean to you by supporting how many people? How are you making an impact? Like you want 100 people in your coaching program this year, for example. What if you invested? Like what is that number that you want to make back, right? Set that goal. Leah. Again, what's build your biz mean? How many clients? What are you offering? And again, your social media following. What's that number you you desire, right? And I will say here that Leah, it's not just about the following. It's I want to build a tight knit community of raving fans that buy my shit. Because you can have a hundred million followers, but I might I might not buy your shit, you know. So I want you to kind of shift that. Okay, Sam. So kind of same idea. How many clients do you want? What's your media company all about? I want to have X amount of clients I'm working with X on, you know? Joanna, make a decision if I'll join another company or start working solo. Okay, so Joanna, your goal is kind of like your intention. I want you to decide on what your goal is going to be. I know maybe you're still in the in the between phase right now, but If you were to tap into your higher self, and this is what we're going to do next, actually, 
what is your higher self doing? Are you working solo? Like think about, are you working solo or working for a company? What lights you up more? What feels more aligned for you right now? And I tend to serve your existing clients. Okay, I love that. Be your best self. Okay, that one's pretty good. We could get more, but that one's pretty good. So rewrite that more specifically on your journal, in your paper or whatever. All right, or you can pop in the chat up to you. Now, Divinity, I haven't heard from you, I don't think, have I? No, Divinity, drop in the chat. So, oh, there we are. <laughs> I mean, build online business, 100 subscribers while traveling, make 2K a month for traveling, teach. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Love, love, love that. Okay, we're getting great clarity here. Get back to 10K cash months so without having a full calendar. Mm hmm, Nat, I feel that. I really want to work towards like working less too. Building a community like my CEO, have more balance and busy, clear on my mission. Mm, okay, I like that. Beautiful. So what I want you to do, I want you to actually ask yourself why. Why? Why is this important to you? Why do you want this goal? And you can share in the chat. Or you can just like journal on it or like sit with it for a second. But why is it important to you? Why do you want to do this? And then tap into that. And the reason we tap into our why, and I want it to be like a deep, like something that's really connected to like you and your soul and like what you truly feel called to be doing. Because I remember, I'll share an example. I used to say, oh, I want to hit 10K months. And my why was only because I see others doing it on social media. And for me, I was like, that's not a good enough why. I was like, and that's why I didn't actually show up the way I wanted to. Because my why was external. It was like, oh, because they're doing it. Because this coach is hitting 10K months, so I want to. And that didn't align, didn't feel aligned for me. So I want to ask you, do these goals feel super aligned, like they are for you? Not because of anyone else, not because society is doing it, not because X, Y, Z, but because you truly desire to have this, right? And so now my goals aren't, my goals aren't even related to money. My goals are to help as many humans as possible dance more and feel healthy in their body and create spaces in the community to go have sober dance parties. And like, that lights me up so freaking much. Cause I'm like, sober dance parties. Like, yes, it, it's like, like my, my hat, my heart is just so happy when I say that. So I want you to have a why that makes your heart so happy. Yeah. Love that, Lena. Mm hmm if you want to drop your why in the chat, please do as well. Mm hmm Yes, it is safe and good for them. Yeah. If y'all don't know Lena, Lena is like the one of the most expressed humans on the internet that I know. And she's so freaking funny. It's beautiful. Kristen, to expand. Also, so happy you're here, Kristen. So nice to see your face. To expand your reach and make new connections. Okay, I want you to dive deeper. Why? Why is it important to expand your reach? Why do I make new connections? I want everyone's why to almost bring them to tears. Like my, like I could cry when I think about the thing I'm creating. Yes, nice, yes, yes. Beauty. And really tap into that. Like take a moment because this is just one level. We're going to get a little deeper, but I do really want you to tap into the emotional part of your why because we are emotional beings. Our subconscious mind actually, as you'll learn, I'm going to explain, operates through feeling, through feeling. And the only reason we do the things we do in life is because we're either trying to do more things that make us feel good or more pleasurable or trying to avoid pain. That's really at the base of it. That's what our nervous system is always doing. Okay, is this pleasurable? Well, let's go do that. Oh, avoid the pain. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, so when you can tap into the why and your goals and the feeling of that joy, when you are feeling uncomfortable, when you're ex expanding to your next level, and I'll explain why in the next couple points, you need, to, you need to override your feeling. It's really about feeling. So that's why I want you to get this and feel it. And so you can come back to this in those moments when you're feeling frustrated, you're challenged, it's not working and you need to override the feelings of frustration or self-doubt or whatever's going to come up in you, override that with the feeling of, this. no, because I'm so freaking lit up and my heart and I, this is going to be amazing. And oh my God, you know? <laughs> oh, Lena. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
to show people that have had similar upbringing or business journey that's possible to impact more women to help them make more sales, which impacts their life. Crying. Oh, more for your son. I didn't have a son. Yes, that's that's it. That's it. Okay. Beautiful. And I'll share another one of my whys that makes me literally want to ball my eyes out. I will try not to cry, but I also want to um I want to start a organization for BIPOC youth to help them with their mental health. Because my little sister killed herself when she was 14. And I feel like if more BIPOC youth had support, they wouldn't have as much mental health issues. And I wish my sister had more support. So I want to create an organization to help more BIPOC youth um yeah, thrive. Because like I struggled a lot when I was younger too. Um, and that's something that I want to bring into the world as well. So yeah, does everyone have their emotional connected why? Thank you, Nat. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes, Divinity, we do. Honestly, yeah. This, yes, girl, I'm all here for this because not only that, like I also want to bring more BIPOC people into the space, like of business, of wealth, of fitness. Like whenever I go out to work out or I go to business conferences or even online, I'm like, where's the colored people? Where are we at? I need more color. Maybe Sam can relate too. I'm like, I need more colored people in my world. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Everyone has their, their emotional why. Yes. Leah, Joanna, I can't see you. So put a thumbs up, a little reaction or put a yes in the chat. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reverse engineer it. So yes, it's great to have these whys and oh my gosh, we're so touched and I love it. So bring it back to the ground more practically. What does this look like? I want you to write out like, what does it look like? What do you need to do every day to get to your goal? I want you to just like write out a few things that you need to do. Like, you know, you need to do, you need to show up on social media. If you're building a business, okay. You need to promote your services. You need to X, Y, Z. What are the things we're going to talk about the more strategy, strategy, like doing things. And we're going to talk about the being next. So list the things you know you need to do. And you, you know, you know, what's up. So you need to show up more. You need to post X amount of times. You need to create bomb ass services. You need to deepen your skill in this. You need to network more. Like, what is it you need to do to hit this goal? I'll read this, Joanna. Similarly, mm -hmm, avoiding burnout. That's so important. Prioritizing, spending time with loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, Joanna, I feel you. We got to meet up, girl. I know you're Mount Pleasant. I'm Mount Pleasant too. We got to meet up. Yeah, I feel the same about the kids thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that, Lena. Okay. Now, just like the first thing, I'm going to ask everyone more specific. Show up every day. What's that mean? Are you posting every day? Are you on your stories every day? Are you doing a live, like what is you you showing up? What's that look like for you? And again, make this sure, make sure it's aligned. Make sure it's like, I don't want to show up every day actually, like on Instagram. Maybe showing up for me looks different. Maybe it's three times a week I'm on Instagram and the other two days I'm creating something else. Like whatever feels aligned. I don't think we need to just be like, no, I need to be on this every day and let's avoid burnout. Yeah, let's do things that you feel truly called to show up in your best way. Maybe it's not on Instagram. Maybe it's TikTok. Maybe you're a TikTok girly. Maybe it's YouTube. Maybe it's a podcast. Like, so that's for example. But if you're writing your goals, like what you're doing to get to these goals, make them specific. Amazing. If you want to share some of them in the chat to get clarity, I'm happy to look at them and like ask you some more questions. But if you're writing it down as well, that is perfect. That is perfect. And you'll see, and the reason why I only said one goal. Because you'll see that actually to get to this one goal, there's like 10 to 15 steps you got to take. Yeah. There's like, oh, yeah, I want to hit this or I want to create and build my community. But under this umbrella, I got I need to do this and I get to do this and I get to do this. 
and this and not that it's a overwhelming but I want you to just that's why I only said one because if we did more than one goal we'd be here for a long time you're like and I do this and I get to show up and you know do back end set up show up in real life online teaching class network events okay cool nice okay beautiful love that divinity how many classes do you want to teach a week what's that look like for you just getting a little more specific networking events how many one a month collaborating with brands how many brands what brands you have brands in mind right just like the reason why i get this specific and help you kind of like visualize that because our, our brain works in visuals our brain doesn't work in show up like what's that your subconscious mind's like what's that but you visualize yourself okay no i'm on instagram and i'm creating the post and i'm on my stories and i'm seeing myself do this right and i'm going to dive in but there's a reason why it's super important to visualize yourself and be specific in what you are doing every day okay so if you're still working on that give me a thumbs up if you still need more time what's that mean that what's that look like your brain's not doing anything for you right now what's cell daily mean are you posting about what program on instagram stories yeah, okay. I was like, <laughs> all good. Mm. Attend workshops look like minute. Amazing. And Kristen, do you know what workshops those are? Do you know like when they are and like how you're gonna do that? Okay. Beautiful. Who needs more time? And if you do, it's totally fine. Make sure they do create some sort of like actionable visual for you. And even if you have time after this, may go back and like refine a couple of them. But does anyone understand the reason why we're getting specific and like making it clearer for your brain to grasp? Nice. In real life, four to five virtual one time per week, networking events once per week take. Beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Yes. That's good. Nike, a low open. It's already done. I love that for you. What's open? I don't know open. That's cool. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to move on, but we're still working on this. Totally fine. Is it good to move on? Thumbs up. Is it okay to move on? Amazing. Okay. So now we're not just doing these things. I want to tap into who you need to be to do these things, right? Because there's a level of beingness that we need when we're doing the thing. And so you're, we can tap back into your intention, what your intention is. For example, Lena's intention is to have more self-trust. So tap back to your intention. And when you're thinking about that, how does this person show up? Who do you need to be? I need to be more confident. I need to be more self-led maybe. I need to be, so start writing down a few like the characteristics that you need to tap into in order to get this done, to slay these goals. Well, damn, I need to stop caring what they think. I need to stop holding myself back. I need to be more believing in myself, actually. I need to know that this is actually already done. Like, I can do this. I need to, you know, just tap into what's coming up for you and who you need to be. Do you want to continue my community outreach? Yes, one per month. Beautiful. Yes. Love that. Look at that. Perfect, Joanna. I like that. Good, good. So who do you need to be? What's your intention? I tend to be more X, Y, Z. In order for me to have four to five for, or four to five in-person classes, I need to be X, Y, Z. Maybe it's for you, it's more courage. You need to have the courage to do the thing and show up even though I'm feeling a little wobbly. You know, even though I'm feeling a little scared, I'm still going to show up. And have the courage because my why is bigger than my fear. Something I heard, I forget from who, that stuck with me. And I say it all the time and feel free to borrow this and take this. Your why is bigger than your fear. Your why is bigger than your self-doubt. Your why is bigger than any of those emotions that come up, right? And so tap into that. And that helps me show up all the time when I'm feeling like shit ain't working. I'm like, I'm going to show up because my why is bigger. <laughs> yeah sober mm, that speaks to my soul so many people in my community have been becoming sober this year and i'm so here for it that's a big part of my movement is thriving sober so i'm so happy for that divinity 
trusting yourself, eating more fruits and veggies, mm. eat more plants and do more dance. That's the motto. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wish I had more sun too, fam. I'm working on that. My One of my goals actually is to spend four to six months in somewhere tropical per year. That's something I'm working towards. Mm-hmm. Have more discipline, more self-trust. So good, Nat. Take messy action. Not be afraid of being seen. Mm-hmm. Need to get more vulnerable and share your story. Mm, these are so good. Make sure you write these down. We're actually going to use these in our last um, activity together. Like this is what's going to help us really tap into creating this safety in a nervous system and making it a regular feeling for us. So from our boundaries, yes. People pleaser. Trust me, Joanna, I've been there too. People pleasing is something that a lot of us um, have experienced. Maybe some of you can relate. And uh, we're working on becoming less of a people pleaser. It's a journey. So I'm happy that you are aware of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be a yes girl. I'd say yes to everything. And I realized my calendar is fucking slammed. I have no time for myself. I'm doing all, I'm like, yeah, of course I will. Of course, of course. And I realized like I'm burnt out and unhappy because I'm doing all these things. What do we want to do? I don't want to do this. Like what? <laughs> so I can relate a lot, Joanna. Okay. Beautiful. Are we, are we clear on who we need to be? Is that clear? How are we doing? Amazing. And drink some water if you haven't yet. Water break. Hydration is key. Everyone drink water. Amazing. Okay. So now that we know we need to be, we know what we're going to be doing the action steps we're taking, how we're showing up and we're clear. I actually want you to, we're going to do a little visualization exercise. We're going to close our eyes. And I want you to visualize you doing these things, whether it's teaching the class, sharing on social media, selling, going to networking events, doing the workshops. I want you to visualize and close your eyes and make notes of what's coming up for you. Is it Oh, can I do is like what thoughts are coming up, what emotions are coming up, how you're feeling, and then we'll revisit back. Okay. So we're just gonna take like a couple minutes. I want everyone to close their eyes and visualize themselves doing these things and then see what emotions, maybe fears, thoughts, anxieties come up, and just take a note of that. So close your eyes if you haven't yet and just tap in and visualize, see yourself doing these things, and as things come up. You can write them down or type them in the chat. And if you have something come up for you, beautiful. If you want to drop in the chat, we're going to workshop this. Beautiful. Fears, amazing. So fears might come up. What like maybe limited beliefs are coming up. You can drop what's coming up for you as you think about these things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, Lena. 
I want everyone to drop something in the chat because this is actually, this is the work. This is the work we get to do. This is everything. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. And thank you for sharing. I really love everyone that's here and being open. And I appreciate every single one of you. Mm, Lena, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can feel that. Kristen, is there any limiting beliefs, thoughts, fears, feelings that are coming up around that? Mm -hmm. Is there any like thing that might potentially roadblock you or is it all like positive for you? Which is great if it is. Is there any like self-doubt or like something that's a little bit... Mm. Mm -hmm. scary what do you mean by scary like how does that feel like dive a little bit deeper here mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah I can relate to every single one of these thank you all for sharing Beautiful. Does everyone drop something in the chat? I don't think so yet. Mm hmm Okay, beautiful. Has everyone put something in the chat? Yes, everyone's put something in the chat. Thumbs up. Leah, have you? Leah? I think Leah is... Okay. So this is... This is what's going to stop us from reaching our goals. Yeah. So yes, we have these goals and we have these beautiful aspirations and we know what we want. We can see it. We can visualize it. But these are the things that are going to stop us. It's these spheres, these limiting beliefs, these emotions, the, am I good enough? Oh my gosh. Is it okay? Like my family, who's going to think this, the haters, like all this thing. And this is what's going to happen when you are doing the action and your brain's going to be like, no, don't do that. So I'm going to do a little like basic 101 for like understanding subconscious mind and nervous system and if you have any questions let me know but basically we all have our our norm right we have our norm we have our where we're used to operating like we have our habits we have our mindsets we have our conditioning from zero to seven and that's what is 95 percent of our subconscious mind yeah and so that's where we're used to operating and some of us have you know changed some of these things for sure as we've done the work and we're entrepreneurs, but there's still these deep rooted beliefs and fears within us. And as we're trying to do these goals and shift our norm and level up, it's uncomfortable for the brain. So the nervous system's job is to keep us safe. That's his number one job is to keep us safe. And anything that's a threat or a perceived threat is not allowed in the system. Basically, it's like our bodyguard. It's like, you cannot enter, you are a threat, that is not good. But the nervous system doesn't know that what is perceived as a threat is actually good for us. For example, someone's trying to eat healthier and work out more, but their norm is eating junk and staying on the couch. And that's what they know. The nervous system's like, okay, hey, this is our norm. This is good. So what's outside our comfort zone is being healthy and eating well and going to the gym. But nervous system's like, well, that's a threat. That's not, I don't know. I don't know that. What do you mean? We eat healthy and go to the gym. That is not, no, it's not a part of you. So it tries to block it out. And what that looks like, and this looks different for many people, but it looks like you don't have time. You don't know what you're doing. You look stupid. No one, no, people are going to make fun of you at the gym. Like why, why do you think you can go to the gym? Blah, blah, blah. Like 
you don't have enough cute outfits, like that voice that tells you all these things, that's your nervous system who creates that negative feeling. And that feeling creates your subconscious mind to tell you these things. And maybe it's things that you've heard in the past, things that have been conditioned from your upbringing, from your parents or whatever. And these things get repeated. Why? Because that's your norm is to repeat these patterns that you are familiar with. Our body likes familiarity. Does that make sense so far? So what's familiar is what is usually taken in. So in order to overcome these things, Sam, oh, there are three goals. Wait, what? Did you? <laughs> Wait, pause. Did you drop? Wow. If you haven't yet, Sam, drop what we're doing. You're supposed to, we're supposed to do this together. But yeah, drop the fears and doubts that are coming up for you. But in order for us to make this a familiar thing, a familiar feeling, there's many different ways to do this, but I will say probably the two most impactful will be like visualizing because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between you doing the thing in real life and you visualizing it. So visualizing every single day of you doing the thing, taking the action, feeling the feeling. The second thing is the feeling of it, right? Feelings are what drives our subconscious mind and our body to do things. If it's a negative feeling, we don't want to do it. If it's a positive feeling, we want to do it. So how can we create more positive feelings around the thing? So when you think of, for example, showing up on social media and part of you is like, ah, but maybe haters are going to come. That's a negative feeling. And because of that, you're not going to want to do it. Your brain's going to be like, oh, we're not doing that. No, you don't have time to so No, we don't know how to, like, it's going to come up with all these things to stop you. It's like, we don't go there. It's danger, danger. Haters are danger, <laughs> right? And so what we want to do is want to create a really positive feeling around the thing and we're going to go through exercise later but so let's say it's it's posting on social media you're scared of haters instead of being like oh my god i'm gonna get so many hate comments you can tell yourself i get to speak directly to my ideal client and they will see it and get value from it and that makes me feel good because i'm helping someone just one person yeah that's that's one way to create better feeling around it Another way to support yourself through this is to create safety within your body around the feelings because life is not always up at hand, like rainbows and sunshine. And there are some more challenging feelings we get to work through. So in order to make our bodies okay with feeling these emotions, we have to be okay with feeling them. So instead of avoiding like, oh, I don't want to feel sad or feel this guilt or feel this sadness or blah, blah, blah. Because your body isn't familiar with feeling this thing, so it avoids feeling it because it doesn't know that it's actually okay to feel, it's safe to feel. When I feel this, I can self-soothe myself. I can shift my state, right? It doesn't know that when you feel a feeling, you're going to be okay. It, may, it, it thinks that, oh, if I feel this, oh no, like I don't know what to do when I feel this way. And like, how can I support myself? And depends on your journey and your experience with emotions. Many of us aren't equipped with the tools to process emotions yeah no one taught us this is a lot of things this is what I do in my work with my clients in my classes it's like give your body the tools to build that trust and be like you know what even if I do experience this negative feeling even if, if I do get a hate comment even if someone judges me even if I don't show up in my best and someone thinks xyz even if my hair doesn't look perfect that's okay because I create safety in my body because I I'm the person that can shift my state. Is that making sense so far? Yeah? Okay, so just to recap, whenever we do something that's uncomfortable, brain makes says no because it's out of our comfort zone. So we need to make this thing a comfort. We need to make it a new, regular sensation in the body. We do that by visualizing, by feeling, and by knowing that when we feel these emotions, we can support ourselves, which I will share how. And then another thing I'm gonna add is that doing. One of the best ways we learn is through doing the thing. Yeah. So yes, you can visualize it. Yes. We can be like, I'm going to post, but it's in doing the thing. And then you post. And that's where you build that sensation of like, oh, I've done it. I can repeat it. That repetition is really key. Okay. So when we're building this, yes, creating positive data points. Exactly. We're building this repetition is key for us. All right. So we're going to have two different aspects and two different tools you can take away with you today. We're going to do an embodiment practice 
that helps you ingrain these feelings, sensations, positive things into the body. And then we're going to do an in the moment when you feel your subconscious mind holding you back, what you're going to do, what you're going to say to yourself in those moments. So they're, they're kind of two separate things because the embodiment practice, something I do every morning, you can do it in the afternoon, in the evening, whatever. But the idea here is to get your body used to, this, used, to the, used to the sensations and get your brain on board to do these things on a regular basis and also get your body on board. It's not just the mind, it's the body that needs to get on board because our body is our nervous system, yeah? And then in the moment, what you're going to tell yourself and how you're going to move through the resistance, yeah? Is this making sense so far? Anyone have any questions? Let me know in the chat. I'm going to drink some water because your girl's been talking her butt off. Okay, beautiful. And if you have any questions, we'll have time for like a little Q&A at the end. How's this so far? Y'all getting value so far? Is this, this is unlike any goal setting workshop I've ever been to, yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. Beautiful. Because I think something I realized is like, people don't talk about the like, the goals that you're actually executing and how you're showing up and the feelings that come up when you're executing. And that's everything. If you can't overcome the feelings that stop you from taking the goal, you're not going to get to your goal. Yeah, for sure. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to walk you through my embodiment practice. I'm going to verbally do it. Then we're going to physically do it. And then, um, yay, Lena, step goal. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. So, and this gets to be unique to you. How I do it doesn't have to be how you do it. You get to play around with it and like see what feels better for your body. It's just what I do, but there's many different ways to build this embodiment and safety in your body around these feelings. So what I do every morning, I, I will first journal. I will journal out like what I'm working towards, what my goals are, like journal out. Sometimes in the morning, it's different. It really depends on what's alive for me in the moment. That's how I journal. But some people need different structures for journaling. But I'll be like, for example, oh, I'm so excited. I'm building my biorave movement. I'm creating a new way of partying. I'm launching my, my launch on February 8th. It's going to be epic. So many people are going to come, blah, blah. And then I sit there and I see what comes up. And it's like, what if no one comes? What if no one buys tickets? What if this is like, what if it's a stupid idea? who's going to want a healthy party? You know, like this is like real life me every, every morning. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> and then, okay. So I acknowledge that one thing I will share is like your fears and these limiting beliefs are just that I want to support you and encourage you to be more objective. Like a fear comes up and I look at it and I'm like, cool. I know it's my nervous system trying to protect me. And I'm like, I see you like, cool. You're trying to protect me, but it's okay because I'm going like the, where we're going is safe, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. I don't make it mean anything. I don't make it mean like, oh my God, I'm a failure. It's not going to work. Oh my gosh. Like I just know it's my natural response to doing something uncomfortable. This is going to come up and this is a natural human thing. So I see the fear. Okay, cool. No one's going to come. Pfft, that's a lie. People are going to come, but that's not what I do. But anyway, so just knowing that it gets to be more neutral. Like this fear comes up. I know why it's coming up. Cool. My body is taking me safe. Thank you for keeping me safe, but we get to move forward. And then I will stand up and I'll shake off the feeling. So I'll play a song. I'll shake off the feeling or I'll move through the feeling. It really depends on how deep you want to go. Like, for example, sometimes the things that come up are actually deep rooted fears that were like ingrained in childhood. And it's like my fear of being rejected because I really had a hard time making friends when I was younger and that's something I'm working through but like sometimes it's that deep and I need to like sit there and be like it's okay little pearl people like you and sometimes it's not that deep and I'm like you know what it's okay so every morning is kind of different but feel into kind of what feelings are coming up and I'll shake it off I'll shake it off and I'll be like it's okay and I'll shake it off and be like I, I see you I know that you're trying to keep me safe and like it's okay we can feel the feels maybe I'll make sure I can feel the sadness and the more you can actually feel the feelings that come up the more your, your body knows that it's okay to feel because you're going to shift it and you get to do something with these feelings and you get to support the feelings. And so after I shake it off, after I feel good, maybe I'll cry sometimes. Every day is a surprise for me. <laughs> and then I will start to tap into my higher self. So I'm like, okay, I shake it off. 
no, this is going to work. This is what I'm here to do. My purpose is to have this mission. And I'll start like either tapping on my body or swinging. Because when you feel into the body, the body gets to ingrain and rewire. So the more we can feel into the body, for some people it might look like walking. For some people it might be moving. Some people might be tapping is really powerful. For some it might be stomping. Like let your body do what it needs to do. And that's like beautiful just for you. And then I just wait till I feel a shift in my state and I feel like, okay, I feel good. I feel like I'm supported. Like I'm no longer in my scarcity state. I'm feeling good, energized. And I tell myself what I need to hear. So for example, if one of your fears is, oh, I'm scared of like my relationship ending or like um, losing traction or I'm scared of overworking, be like, no, because it's safe to work X amount of time and still make money. Like it's okay to only work four hours. I can still make abundance. Like whatever your fear is, I want you to like rewrite that and tell yourself the opposite. So for me, it's like, of course people are going to come to my bi rave party because it's like one of the most unique things I've ever heard of. Of course people are going to want to join the movement. Of course people want to live healthily and be sober. Like, yes, it's okay to launch this movement. It's okay to be up, be show up as myself because I'm the bomb.com or whatever you want to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the reason we do this is again, getting your body used to feeling these feelings and shifting your state and anchoring in where you're going. So you can feel positive emotions around where you're going and create safety in the body. Is there any questions before we go through this? Is there any questions? Does that make sense? Amazing. So this embodiment practice is like, Again, take what you need. Maybe you don't need a journal. Maybe you can just like stand there and be like, you can feel the feelings and you can acknowledge them. Maybe it's a process. Maybe you journal the whole process. Like, I don't know, but I do know that you must feel the feeling and you must shift the feeling and you must be in the body because the body is what we're rewiring and the body is what's going to help us move through these things. Okay. So we're all going to stand up. So we're going to do a mini, a mini one, but I want you to make it unique to you. So take your fear Take your self-doubt, whatever, that thing that we're working through. I'm actually gonna put on, I'm gonna put on a song for this because you know, we like to move to music, we like to like to vibe to music. All right. Okay, so everyone has their, the thing that might stop them, right? This feeling, this whatever. I want you to feel it. I actually want you to allow yourself to feel what this is, this scarcity, it's the doubt, it's the, oh, I'm scared, I'm gonna be judged. Like, I want you to feel it, I want you to, feel it. I want you to move. How your body wants to move. Like, it's a lot of people that are safe to feel. It's okay to feel. Maybe you're scared. Maybe it's you want to be judged. You know, like, oh, those feelings are just Maybe the mood of heart feels good to you. Maybe give yourself a hug. Maybe you're happy in the body. Maybe you move with yourself. Your eyes, your legs. Taking deep breaths. Maybe you need to help. Maybe you need to have a big sigh. Maybe you're gonna cry. Let it happen. Let yourself feel. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds here. Really feel into that. I'm gonna change the song. We're gonna shift our state. So I want you to know that. Tell yourself that, you know what, despite how I'm feeling, that it's okay because my why is bigger than this feeling. My why means more to me than this feeling. Yeah? Beautiful. I'm gonna change the song and then we're going to tap into 
our empowerment. We're gonna tap into what's gonna help you elevate. Tell yourself the things that are gonna make you feel supported. Tell yourself the things that are going to make you feel good, yeah? So we're gonna move, maybe shake it out, maybe I gas it out. I want to say even out loud, it is safe for me to show up. Whatever you're gonna tell yourself, and tap on your body, connect to your body, and rewire what you're saying. So reframe that phrase. It is safe to show up. Of course people want to work with me. Good. Say these things out loud. Good. Check it out. Maybe you want to dance. Whatever works for you. And you're celebrating because you are going to be doing big things. And it's safe to feel, it's safe to feel all the things. And think about, visualize yourself doing the things. Think about your goals, the things you're doing, your why. Beautiful. Amazing. We'll do about three more seconds. Awesome work. Okay, we're gonna wrap up. Good, I want everyone to take a nice big inhale, deep breath, exhale. Good, shake it out. We'll do one more, big inhale. Good, exhale, shake it out. Beautiful. Okay, I want you to share. What did you just experience? Did you feel the shift? I want you to share your experience in the chat. I'd love to hear. Feeling energized, nice. Start smiling, and you dance more. Heck yes, you do, Leah. Dancing is everything. Felt emotional, make yes. Mm, beautiful, Lena. Yeah. So good. Okay, nice sound. Like you're framing, yes. And did, did you guys allow yourself to feel? And then when a song changed, you shifted into your more elevated state. Did you feel that shift? And you were feeling maybe a little more excited, a little more motivated, a little more. You know? Mm hmm. Yes. I understand divinity. Yeah. The energy shift. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. And music's a very powerful way to create different states in the body. I often just play one song and I'll do both emotions in one song. But if I feel called, I will play two different songs because, like, it's different, different energies. That's beautiful. So that's something you can do every single day to tap in and to shift because these feelings are going to come up regardless. And we know that as human beings and as people that are tapping into bigger goals and we're doing big things. And so one really powerful thing is giving yourself space to feel. I don't think we allow ourselves to feel very often. And during the day, we kind of like push off our feelings, but whether it's in the morning or in the evening, whatever, give yourself the space to like just do a three minute thing and give yourself space to feel, give yourself space to shift. Like that's going to support your nervous system so much. Cause when you feel that self-doubt, you're like, oh, it's okay. Like I'm good. Like we get to move through it. We felt this before. It's okay. I know like this is happening when you're about to post like, yeah, that's okay. No doubt it's coming. That's okay. Cause we are doing bigger things. Like this is going to happen. I see you. You know what I mean? So it gets to be a normal thing and your body gets to be acclimatized 
to the things that are coming up and no longer scares the nervous system. It's like, oh my God, that's a threat. It's no, no longer a threat. It's like, this is part of the process and we, this is what we're doing, right? So yes, yes, Sam, so good. And take what you need, like, <laughs> but like crying at first, not, mm -hmm. of course you can, yes, yes. Exactly now. Like, of course you can. Something that I picked up from a mentor like last year, she's like, of course you can. Like whenever I would have a doubt, she's like, what do you mean? Of course you can. Like you were meant for this. This is for you. So I just tell myself that every day. Of course you can. Like there's no reason you can't. Beautiful. That's what we're going to do every morning or evening, picking a song. Even you can do this without music. Music just like helps you be more powerful and like really shift your state. You can do this just journaling. You can do this walking you can do this just tapping like play around with it but for me obviously because i'm a dancer i do this with dancing but anything that gets you into the body is going to be really supportive for this practice is there any questions so far about this this is our daily practice we do because repetition is key okay and we, since we're building new habits and building new mindsets we need to pave new pathways in the brain and that's going to take a lot of action because we have been re repeating the same frameworks and the same patterns for for me it's been 28 years of repeating the same shit of doing the same shit so we need to start doing this every single day for years like actually though like because we're just creating new pathways and it takes time in the brain to pave that yeah okay beautiful so now we did our thing. We're feeling good. Now we're going to do our day. We're going to take action. Wow. Things are great. You go to post and all of a sudden you're like, oh, what if someone, I, am I saying this right? Should I change my post? Ah, is someone going to judge me? Um, maybe I shouldn't post today. Oh, maybe I'll just like put it, you know what I mean? And you're doing the thing and your brain's like trying to stop you. So in these moments, this is when I want you to one, shift your state to tell yourself something different. So this is gonna be different for all of you, obviously, but in these moments, you know what's gonna come up, you know what's gonna happen. Your brain's gonna tell you these things. It's been telling you these things probably for the last X amount of years. And so you're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna pick a statement to say to yourself, and this can change over time. Maybe your statement's the opposite of your fear. Maybe what comes up is, oh, you don't have time to post. And you're going to say, no, of course I do. It doesn't take that much time to post. I can post this in the next 20 minutes, right? Or maybe it's something you want to anchor in. Maybe you want to have a mantra for yourself that you say every day. It's like, I am working towards X, Y, Z. I am becoming more confident in myself. And this is going to help me become more confident. Whatever works for you. You know what I mean? These are just examples. So when you feel this thing, when this comes up, you're going to tell yourself a certain thing. Okay, and that could be either in the moment, the opposite of the thing, or this mantra that you feel really so solid with. Yeah. So if you want to put your mantra in the chat, if you want to do a mantra, or if you're just going to re reframe that thought in the moment, that's really awesome too. Okay. And the second thing is you want to shift your state. So because when you're in the moment, you're feeling maybe, oh man, do I really want to do this? Oh, I don't, I feel like I'm not sure, like I'm dying myself. Is this the right thing to do, you know? And you're feeling maybe not at a vibration you want to be feeling. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I love these so much. You're going to shift your state. So you can do this in many different ways, but state is everything. So when you're feeling a certain way, when you're doing something, the number one way to fit shift your state is, to, is actually your posture, your body language. So I want you to roll your shoulders back, stand nice and tall. Everyone do that. Yes. And this automatically tells your body that you are open. This actually helps your brain produce more positive neurotransmitters and instantly you're going to feel better. Beautiful. You're going to feel better in this moment. Now, the way you shift your state is obviously to move. You can move your body. You can stand up. Maybe you've been saying for too much. Sometimes I will actually say this. You start to feel these, these thoughts and self-doubt and these things come up because your body's not in an optimized state. Have you drank your water? Have you ate? Do you sleep okay? Are you breathing properly? When's the last time you moved your body? And so your body's like not in an optimized state. So of course you're gonna think these thoughts more often when you're not in an optimized state. That's actually why in my coaching, it's so important to focus on your body and eating properly and sleeping properly and reducing your stress. Because when your body's in this less optimal state, 
these thoughts are way easier to come through and these thoughts stop us, right? So open up your chest, stand tall. And maybe you're like, actually, I haven't ate yet. Maybe that's why I said, oh, I need to drink more water. Shit, I need to stand up and stretch. My body is telling me something. And you can change your state, right? Another way to change your state, obviously, is you're going to take a deep breath. And you're going to do a nice exhale. And you're going to do that a few times because maybe you're actually triggered. Maybe you are in your nervous system is heightened. And when you're in this heightened state, you actually have less access to your whole brain. So when you're able to take nice deep breaths and just relax, take these nice deep breaths actually helps your body know that it's safe and that you can use your whole brain and operate from a safe place, not from a fight or flight mode, right? When you're, when you're in your fight or flight, you're not going to want to post content. Of course, you're not in a state to do these things that are challenging you. But when you're in a calmer state and you're feeling good and you're standing tall and you're like, oh, okay, I can do this. And you tell yourself your mantra, you shift your mindset and that is what you're going to do. Does that make sense? Yes, beautiful. So this is what we're going to do every day moving forward. And again, we're, we're human. Things are going to come up. You might forget to shift your state. Maybe you're busy one day. Maybe you didn't have time and do your morning embodiment practice. It's okay. But I want you to always come back to this. Even if you don't do it in the morning, do it in the midday, do it in the evening. Just do it because the more we can create the feelings in our body, the easier it is, it will be to navigate towards your goals and to do the things. Yeah. Okay. So are there any questions? Anyone want to share anything? I'm open to answering things. You can take yourself off mute if you want. I'm going to get some more water while we do that. And then, yeah, that was the workshop. So I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. I just want to say, uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Pro. This this is good. This is fun. Um, I started off with my three goals, but as we were going through, I was just thinking, and this is what I do a lot in, in my life, because oftentimes I have a lot of things going on, seemingly, but I find if I take time to connect the dots, I realize it's all one thing. And so I take time to try and find what is this one beam of light? You know, I, I kind of relate it to like a rainbow. And so with my three goals, I just realized it all just, it does all boil down to my high chi media, which can um, go through all the other things that I got going on. So, and I feel like by bringing it all into one, for sure, it does make that one goal much stronger because otherwise I, I do have the energy going elsewhere. So, so that was good to just go through that. If, if not for anything, that's something I'm taking with me today. I love that. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I think when we take the time, we realize like it's often for me, I can say it's really just the one, like for me, it's the one thing. It's like, okay. And it gets to be more clear. I get to put my energy all towards it. And I get super clarity on the action I need to take and how I get to show up and the energy I get to be in, right? So that's great for great for everyone, but good share. Anyone else want to share their takeaways? Their how was the workshop for you? Any questions? Feel free to share. We have about 15 more minutes. And yeah. I'll jump on. I think um, doing the goal setting um, with doing the goal setting and then identifying kind of what fears and doubts come up. I think that was like definitely nothing I've ever done before. I feel like you just like set goals and then it's like you're all like motivated, but you don't address the things that are actually going to get in your way. And um yeah. And just like moving through the emotion through like dance and movement. That's like something I'm definitely going to incorporate. So yeah, love that. Very excited. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And one thing I will add um, is that whenever you are doing big things and setting these goals and taking action and these fears come up, I'll say for me, like I used to be like, oh, like, why can I do this? Like, what's wrong with me? Why am I, why am I hesitating? Like, why can't I just do the thing? <laughs> And I would, you know, forget that before I learned about this work and like the neuroscience and the brain, that's actually normal. Like, this is perfectly normal. Like, this is meant to happen. And instead of beating yourself up about why you can't do the thing, it's like, no, actually, this is exactly my brain is doing its job. 
I'm perfectly normal. Like, I understand this. And give yourself more love and compassion instead of like, oh, you suck. You can't do that. It's like, no, I didn't. My brain doesn't know that this is safe. I, it's my job to create the safety. It's my job to actually realize like actually where we're going is okay. It's my job to make my nervous system feel good about this thing. So instead of worrying about, oh, all the bad things are going to happen, it's like, hey, actually, when we do this action, it's actually creating momentum and it's helping me reach the goals so I can, you know, do my why, my deepest why, so I can spend more time with my son. We're doing this so we can X, Y, Z. So this is going to help me do X, Y, Z, right? So you get to create this narrative of new safety and new support with your nervous system because like oh don't worry I got you fam like we're gonna be thriving and rich and abundant and whatever you want to tell yourself yeah so that's a really big shift that happened for me anyone else want to share I would love to hear from all of you we can drop in the chat as well how this was for you what your biggest takeaways are and I will emphasize this is a daily practice it's not something you do once and never come back to again Awesome. No worries. Thanks for coming, Lena. So I really want you all to commit to doing this every day. And it only takes like, like you saw, like three minutes, like take three minutes out of your day to prepare yourself, to prepare your nervous system for what you're about to do, for all the goals you're going to achieve, for all the things you're going to do in your life. It's really worth it. Like a few minutes a day, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know what I mean? It gets to be that. And so I want to really emphasize that point because the more you support yourself through these the more you're going to take action the more you're going to feel good and the more you're going to live your best damn life yes definitely message me joanna for sure and we'll chat i would love to meet you in person so yeah that's what i want to drop but know that you are so capable you are so strong and everything that's on your heart is there for a reason i know all of you are going to do big things i'm always here to support you if anyone wants to learn more about my coaching or my other services just dm me on instagram this is the work i do and that i love and so yeah if no one wants to say anything else feel free to hop off but remember do this every damn day tell yourself your mantras reframe these mindsets and you will see how it's going to shift and you're actually going to start having less resistance towards doing all these goals and it's going to be beautiful once we slay the goals this year so thank you all i'll hang around for a nice couple minutes but if you need to hop off thank you for being here i appreciate you so 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 much and go slay your goals all right fam thank you so much thank you thank you Thank you, Divinity. Thanks for coming, Sam. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks, Nat. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye, Kelsey. Thank you. I'm going to hop off unless you have something to say, Kelsey. I'm going to hop off now. Okay. Bye. <laughs>